Now to Hurricane Burl tonight impacting Jamaica as we speak. On the left is imagery of the massive storm from satellites and on the right, Jamaica just hours ago as people there prepared for the storm's impact. 10 Tampa Bay is your hurricane mm -hmm. headquarters and chief meteorologist Bobby Deska has joined us once again. Yeah, and Bobby, the storm is still on the move. Yeah, Sorry. it's skirting uh, Jamaica right now, although it is beginning to pull away a little bit from there. So that's actually the good news for them. But I tell you from Caracou, which is an island just north of Grenada, west of Barbados, it, it's just like what we've seen in times where all the leaves are even blown off of the trees. Let's get over to the computer right now. Let me show you where the storm is. We just got the 11 o'clock update from the National Hurricane Center. 130 mile per hour winds now, which is weakening a little bit, but you can see where the center went right through there. So technically it did not make a landfall in Jamaica, but it might as well have. The strongest winds are on the north side where you see the purple, and that's what went right across the southern part of the country. So the good news for them now is that things are getting a little bit better, but now it's headed over towards the Caymans. Uh, and then you can see the track. There it is. It just did stay just offshore. Now the forecast, this just came in latest track from the Hurricane Center down to about 120 mile per hour winds from 130. That would be by early tomorrow morning. And then look at this. We're about 105 mile per hour winds by Thursday, tomorrow afternoon. So it is a little bit weaker cat two at that point. And then a landfall Thursday night and Friday morning along the Yucatan coast, then crossing over that back out into the Gulf of Mexico. Yes, it gets weaker because it went over land, but the forecast is still saying perhaps a cat one restrengthening the cat one with landfall closer to Brownsville, Texas. Most of the modeling now is trending towards the Brownsville, Texas area, which means there's still going to be quite a bit of weather just north of there because that's where the heaviest winds and rains are and some of the models are even recurving so we'll have to watch that but right now it looks like it will pull away from jamaica grand cayman tonight and tomorrow morning and then the yucatan florida will stay clear of this storm